Mahan. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Super excited to be here. This is going to be the first time we show our tech in Asia. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about robotics, and I, I hope we can also learn a couple of things about uh, humans. Um, so before I start, uh, I want to actually today is almost 100 years since we started this vision about building robots that look like humans. Uh, and when we started thinking about this, this idea was really exciting. We imagined things like, like these. But then as we became very close to building these robots, we started to panic. And we started getting super polarized opinions. The closer these robots looked like humans, the more we, we felt panic that they might take our jobs and uh, replace us and so on. And I hope today that maybe I can uh, inspire you with this idea that robots are actually a celebration of humanity rather than a risk. And the best way to think about this is really by going back and thinking, why did we imagine robots to be like this? And this is mainly thinking about the person standing in front of the robot and talking to it. And, uh, and you think, if you think about technology today, there is really no interface that where we can express ourselves the way we've been programmed, we've evolved to interact with each other. And that's by looking at the human face. The human face is, is really the, if you think about us as a species, it's the, 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 the single most object that we look at during our life. But still, there is no technology that can take advantage of that interface. It's the human face is what we say, the mankind's oldest interface, or the, the native interface. And it sounds like, an, potentially, if we build a, a device that can do that, that can interact with us the same way a, a human face, we can interact with a human face, we can build amazing applications on top of that. Obviously, the human face is is, is the object that we look at since the moment we're born and we age and we're still interacting with each other by looking face to face. The other way we look at this technology is that it's a, it's a new, new type of uh, UX. You know, we, we interact with our phones, with our tablets, today with our uh, virtual reality goggles. And our, our kind of core belief is that uh, robots are going to be the next big user interface. And with that, I'm super excited to finally be able to show you what we've been working on towards that vision. Hello world. My name is Furhat, and I'm a social robot. I'm designed to interact with people in the most natural way possible, in the same way you interact with each other, by speaking, listening, and showing emotions. I'm really excited to be here at RISE, and to talk about how I can make a difference in the world. Together with Samer, I was hoping to show you some of the things that robots can do for the world. Samer, are you ready? Sure Furhat, I'm ready, how are you? Hi Samer. I feel great. I feel alive. A bit nervous though. It's my first time in Hong Kong, and there are so many people here. Oh, it's gonna be great. Everyone has been really nice to the speakers. 
uh, don't worry about it. So for that, I thought we could show people some of the things you can do. Sure. Let me start with my face. I can make all kinds of expressions. I can smile. I can pout. And sometimes perhaps even look angry. In fact, I can change my face completely to match what I am supposed to do. For example, I can be a woman, like this. Okay, but if you can change your voice, can, uh, face, can you also change your voice? Of course, I can also have a different voice, or tone, to match my persona. I can actually speak about 40 languages. Probably all of the languages in the audience today. Perhaps you might like to hear my Dutch. I can Nederlands spreken. Maar wat vind je van mijn accent? Or maybe you'd like to hear some Japanese? Nippongo wa utsukushii gengo desu ga, anata wa douishimasen ka? This is a powerful way to build personalities for different applications. Okay, so if, you know, how can you use all these features to build applications that say are different from a chatbot or a smart speaker? Well, I can combine all these features to create powerful social interactions that would benefit from a rich personality. For example, I could teach you a new language, or screen you for a medical condition, or even simulate patient with Alzheimer's disease. Shall we show the audience an example of what I can do? Okay. Uh, how about we try the, the language teacher? Okay, Samer. Please wait while I activate the language teacher. Okay. Hi, Sama. My name is Daniel. I will be your language teacher for today. Okay. What language would you like to learn? I think, um, courtesy of the house, I should probably brush up on my Mandarin. All right. Let's learn some Mandarin. Okay. In today's lesson, we will practice ordering drinks at a cafe. Natalie and Lily have just sat down at a cafe and are about to order. Listen okay. carefully and try to remember and repeat what they say. First, Lily orders a cup of coffee. Then, Natalie orders a glass of beer. Listen again to Lily as she orders a cup of coffee. Then repeat what she says. Why Che Yang Pang Cafe? <laughs> well, Sama, let's just say you're going to need to practice a bit more. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to try again. Bye for now. Thanks, Daniel. So, what did you think about Daniel? So he's a great guy. I think maybe not so happy about my Mandarin. Um, okay, Farhat. Would you how, like to try something else? Yeah, I, how about we try the, um, uh, a simulation, you know, we, uh, where you play a simulation of a person with uh, memory loss. So you're used as a training tool for, uh, for therapists. Sure. Let me activate the Alzheimer's simulation. Okay. Hello, my name is Max. I am 71 years old, and I'm originally from England. It's nice to meet you. Who are you? Hi, Max. Uh, this is Samir. We've actually met before. Oh, really? I'm sorry about that. I'm a bit forgetful these days. Uh, don't worry about it. We all forget sometimes. How are you feeling? If I'm being honest, I'm not feeling like my usual self. Ever since my wife passed away last year, I feel quite lonely. It's tough, after spending every night together for over 50 years, for it to suddenly be taken away from you. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Very sorry to hear. Um, so how do you get to spend your time these days? Well, I love crosswords and puzzles. They keep the mind active, you know. I see my kids about once every few weeks. Sarah, my eldest, she visits more often. But my son... Um... Jack. No, sorry. His name is James. He doesn't visit so often. I don't get out too much, 
so I watch a lot of television. I understand. Well, maybe we could uh, uh, spend some time together, meet more often, maybe go out for a walk. How do you feel about that? Um, yes, I think that would be great. I'm sorry, what was your name again? It's totally slipped my mind. Hi, this is Samir for uh, Max. Don't worry about it. Well, I have to go now, but maybe we can uh, meet more often in the future. Thanks, Samir. Thank it you. was a pleasure speaking with you too. It's really brightened up this old man's day. I hope I get to see you again soon. Bye bye. Goodbye. So, what did you think about Max? I think he's a, a powerful simulation, potentially used for, as a training tool. I'm really looking forward to see these things more in the, in the future. Well, thank you, Farhat. For now, we can talk later. Okay, talk to you later. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, I, I hope this gives you an idea of the depth of you know, applications where social robots can be used, kind of really different from how we're, we're imagining today's chatbots or smart speakers. Um, I'm also happy to say that we've, uh, uh, we've, uh, we've, we're opening up our development tools and SDK, and we're starting soon uh, developer programs. And I'd love to see more people join us and try to start exploring this kind of amazing world of social robotics. Uh, we're also going to be showcasing some inspirational use case, uh, applications for Furhat, and I'd love to show you a video of, of some of these applications. 你能告诉我哪里可以买火车票吗？你可以去位于你右侧的售票机那里买票。啊，谢谢。不客气。El tren para Capital，¿en dónde está？Mira，que lo necesito llevar，pero so, why should we hire you? Well, I think I'm the perfect candidate for the role. I, I love analyzing and organizing and executing these kind of complex projects. I'm sorry, but um, I don't believe that you're the person we're looking for. Four years experience in delivering projects and the majority of them on time and within budgetary estimates. Well, you have all the qualifications and experience for this role. It seems like you're the perfect candidate. Really? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure, Nadia. Okay, ma'am. Um, and what seems to be the problem with them? Your idiotic manager over there, he told me that these shoes were comfortable. Well, they're not. These shoes are dreadful. You did really well, Angela. <laughs> But you can't tell the customers that they're unreasonable. Okay. No. So try not to lose your cool next time, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Farad, uh, let's try another scenario. Okay. Uh, let's do the one where the customer has a stolen credit card. You got it. Okay. What do you mean this credit card is not working? Join us in creating a world where technology is more human. Okay, so I hope this uh, a little bit restored your faith in social robotics. We're, we're going to be here having a press conference, and please come and, and talk to us if you're curious about Ferhat. Um, before I get this, uh, off the stage, Ferhat, do you have any last words you want to say? I would like to thank you all for having me. It's such an honor to be here presenting in front of everyone. I think this goes to show just how far social robots have progressed. And this is just the start. If you would like to meet one of my humans, you can find them in the event app. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. I hope to meet you all soon. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.